Steve, one of the best Home Depot's employees out there. Steve, Home Depot's employee manager right here. Like, come on, he works at Home Depot right here. Hopefully, he is not deformed. Please don't let him be deformed. Because I've seen many images like this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, all right. Open this up. Home Depot? Really? <sighs> okay. Dude! Doesn't look that bad. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't look bad at all. Alright, next up is instructions. It's closed. There we go. We have his collar right here. And his work bag for all his tools. His clothes is very nice. I love the colors and stains of it. And these guys, remember, will move the sticker. Uh, I'll just put this right here. There we go. We have the phone. I've got a piece of foam. The hammer, Home Depot's finest tool. We got some holes. And of course, the mechanism. Yo! That looks sick. The mechanism, the Home Depot Mexi mechanism. This is so awesome. I love all the mechanics. Two motors, so so many screws, so just so many screws. All right, first is the poles. All right, that looks pretty good. Next is the shoes. All right, that looks pretty good. And now, foam. All right, looks pretty good. Uh, it's close. All right. There you go, make sure these two metal poles are sticking out of the back of the clothes. And now for the module. Not gonna throw this one, but just kinda. All right, that looks pretty good. Look at that mechanics, oh my God. I love the motor so much. Anyways, next up is, oh, the head. <sighs> just because you're deformed. Oh. Oh, there we go, right there. Whoa, he's looking very tall. Looking very tall. All right, now his arm. Right there, why you? All right, so his arm looks pretty good. Why you bullying me? Adapter. I'm just simply plug it right here. Well, as you can see, there's just a little bit adapter sticking out. I think it's okay. And now we just simply Velcro the back. Oh, what the hell? Ah, oh, it's all right. All right, now to put on the tool pouch. So here is the first item, the hammer. It's gonna go right, right in here. This was taking a bit of time, but I uh, put all the tools in the correct area. So now, the last piece, the collar. All right, I got him plugged in. Let's go check him out.
Alright, so this is the behind the scenes of this uh, sinister, uh, what's it called? Sinister Thief right here. So behind the scenes. So this motor right here controls the head. This one right here controls both arms, as you can see, but, you know, there we go. As you can see, uh, his little guys right here. And yeah. Alright, so that was Sinister Steve. Um, so the one thing I was worrying about is the mouth not opening right. But as you can see, it's working very, very good. Because in the store, it was like not even moving at all. It was kind of like this, just like that. So it was a little bit moving in the store, but not too much. Mine is moving a lot, which I really appreciate. I love the arms going up and down. He will be a very good clown in my haunt this year. But anyways, as always, stay spooky, and I'll see you in another video. Bye. How about Sinister Steve? That has a nice ring to it. Strapped with his own belt tools, this horrible handyman stands just four and a half feet tall. But what he lacks in height, he more than makes up for in fright. Bright orange locks shock from his head, wearing faded prankster powder on his face, dressed in a dirty, spattered two-tone costume. Steve looks like he could use a little TLC himself.